So here we have an Epson um, projector, and the issue is it's not turning on. So I'm thinking it could be a bulb, and then it has detected that the bulb doesn't work, maybe? or something so there's no LED that shows usually it shows an LED here and you hold this and it turns on so or it could be a bone fuse inside we don't know so let's check the power cable see what kind of voltage we're getting here Okay, so AC voltage, and we're getting 125 volts AC, which is nominal voltage. So, it's something to do with the internal circuit. So it looks like we're going to have to take this whole thing apart. Um, it could be a blown capacitor which has blown a fuse. Alright, so looks like. circuit board here. All these connectors seem to be different so I don't think you have to worry too much about this matching. There we go. Okay, goodies. Power supply is down here. And we have a fuse. So let me check out the fuse. Fuse is okay. I think it's to do with this thing here. Yes. I think so. This is like probably like the primary. It has some capacitors and inductors for the 120 but this is will be the secondary voltage power supply something like that I bet you it's this board here that's giving us all this trouble this one out. Test uh, some diodes here. Okay. All looking okay. There's this thing is a fuse, this black thing, so we can test that out. The fuse is okay. Okay. I'll 
let's try this out. I should get 17 volts. on this connector here. We get 1.2 volts on that. I believe the power supply, this power supply is the culprit because right here, it says that you should measure 17 volts in there and not on standby. Um, and then this does the main on. So if you're not measuring voltage here, this is a fuse. This fuse is good. So let's check the main board. This supplies 15 volts. short so It's pretty hot here. These guys are so super hot. Right in here. Whew. Let me show you. With some alcohol. There, so we can pure CT4. So this is probably some sort of uh, MOSFET. Very similar um, chip here. Okay, I got the parts from DigiKey. So. It's that DC to DC booster chip. So well, these are keys. Probably the best place to get electronics. So here we go. If you need the code, it's a TPSF. 5433 and here are our ICs in this little trade tube. This little guy right here. So I removed uh, this one and I popped it over here. And now I'm going to replace 
this one and put it back on. Wonderful. This is the exact version right here. So I'm going to use the heat gun to put that one back on. So I got them both on. Let's uh, reassemble. So I can inject some voltage in here. And the light does turn on. So there seems to be still an issue with the with the power here. Okay. So this 15 volts, we have a power supply issue here. So I'm getting the input voltage of 120 AC here and then right here through the rectifier I'm getting solid 173 volts so that's all good. It's like the secondary side has some problem. I'm not getting the voltage right here that I need. I need 17 volts here and there's nothing. No voltage is getting to this transformer. So at first I thought it was this optocoupler, um, it was getting some weird readings, but I took it out and I'm getting forward voltage on this light here. So I don't think that this is the problem. I think the problem was this guy right here, I removed him. We'll see if that is the issue now. So this guy is a... Uh, and channel power MOSFET and the gate uh, it goes gate drain source so from the great gate to the drain we're, we're measuring basically a short so that can't be right so I bet you that this guy's bad It's a SMK0465 chip right here. So I think this guy's bad. So I do have an N powered MOSFET. This one was 200 volts and it had 30 volts VGS on. This is 500 volts, 5 amps. This is 2 amps. This one uses 10, so I'm not 100% sure of the VGS on this machine, but I'm going to throw this in and see what happens. Um, you can you can see um, that indeed the, the outer side guy was a short, but on my new one it's not. And they're both end channel MOSFETs with the fly wheel diode. and if I put right here, we get two volts, four, five. We get that, so it's looking open here. So, anyways, you want to make sure that it still it has the doesn't have the metal backing. So, 
try this, see if it works. So we'll just slide it in here. We'll, I'll get that soldered in. So I replaced the um, transistor here, but then you can see that we have some burnt resistors and I don't know exactly what these resistors are I think that's one R20 what do you think so we'll see how this goes I put a one watt one ohm resistor that goes across these and I re removed all those and there's a 22 ohm resistor that was blown here that I put in a one hat, a quarter watt resistor. So we'll see, see how this works. The main processor seems to be fine. This power supply is a problem. I've been replacing, keep on finding parts. There's just too many things that are going wrong. I don't know. And I have to leave this one. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.